Once again, here's another one where we don't have a trig ratio equal to a constant, but in this one we are not asked to find the general solution, but rather the specific solution, since they give us an interval for our unknown value. Interval between negative 75 degrees and 300 degrees. So let's continue solving that. So obviously the first step, as always, would be to get a trig ratio equal to a constant. Now up to this point, this has been quite easy. All we do divide both sides with that 137, negative 137. So we get something like this. Okay. And uh, then our reference angle we can go calculate using the inverse function and our calculator. They didn't say not to use a calculator. So obviously this uh, is going to simplify or the reference angle is going to be not a special angle. Uh, do that 90 divided by 137 is a negative okay gives me that inverse of sine gives me negative 41.07 negative 41 comma 07 that is my reference angle and next step would be to find my general solution my general solution for sine is the first quadrant reference angle so in other words I'm calculating y is reference angle plus 360 times k and the other quadrant where it's positive is 180 degrees minus the reference angle plus 360 times k in this case my reference angle is negative though that's why um, and, and I can see my sine ratio equals to a negative answer which means it must be either fourth or third quadrant and that's what's going to happen if I replace reference angle with that negative I get negative 41 comma 07 plus 360 degrees times k same here 180 negative negative gives me positive 41 comma 07 plus 360 degrees times k and uh, now again uh, remember that k takes elements of integers if I was doing the general solution However, I'm asked for the specific solution, which means that k can't be all the integer values, since k represents the number of uh, full rotations I'm adding to my solution. So, for example, one solution is negative 41 degrees. Another solution would be uh, going clockwise, so plus 360. Another solution would be plus another 360, 720. Another solution plus another 360, 1080. So every time I add 360, I get another solution. However, um, and that's what K represents, it represents the number of full rotations I'm adding or subtracting if K, of course, is negative. So I need to go and calculate how many rotations can I um, go and add. So Y is an element of the following. For example, if k is equal to 0, again I'm going to go from 0, 1, 2 until I go outside my limit and then negative 1, negative 2 until I fall outside my limit. If it's 0, I get negative 41,07 plus nothing. So then I am indeed in there. So negative 41,07 is one solution. Okay, another solution. Uh, let's try adding 1. Okay, so 360, so negative 41 plus 360, let's try that. 41.07 with a negative plus 360 gives me 318. It's a little bit too big, I'm not allowed to go that, uh, that high, so I'm not going in the positive direction anymore. Obviously in the negative direction, if I subtract a full rotation, I'm going to get something like negative 400 okay which is going to be way too much so I'm not even going to start subtracting I'm just going to jump over to the next solution here again I'm going to start with 0 1 2 etc okay so first of all I've got 180 180 plus 41.07 so I've got 221 if I don't add anything that's one solution okay so 2 2, 1, 0, 7 is one solution. Okay, if I'm going to add 360, I'm very close to 300 already, so another 360 will be too much. How about if I subtract 360? Let's see, if I subtract 360, I'm smaller than 75 degrees already when I subtract 360. So, um, no matter how many rotations I add or subtract, I fall outside, which means my only two solutions in this interval are these two.